what I was thinking yesterday, and now she's tweaking it. I want to follow her, okay? So do something you actually enjoy, and that will generate followers, that will generate friends on Facebook, that will generate everything that you need. And from there, you will notice that is actually data, okay? So everything that you create creates a data path, like Twitter. To create Twitter, you have to put in what when you start your account? Every account you create, you have to put in what? Use a web you have, email. You have to put in an email address. Okay, so that's data right there. Um, Facebook, they've made it easy now for actually all of your friends. If you have, who has over 500 friends on Facebook? Yeah, I knew it was going to be something. <laughs> so if you have over 500 friends, guess what? You have over access to over 500 email addresses. So you're, a, you're a database in yourself. I'm a database, right? So I have over 2,000 friends. Somebody probably got me beat in here. Anybody got over 2,000 friends on Facebook? Yeah, yeah, I knew you had me. <laughs> I was a late starter on Facebook. I probably jumped on about a, about a year ago, and people were like, man, what's going on? I'm like, oh, So I had to do it, because that's where everything is going. But because I have over 2,000 friends on Facebook, that means I have access to 2,000 2, emails. Not me going through an emailing or inboxing people and say, what's your email address? You literally can connect that to like a Gmail or Yahoo account and download all of those emails from your Facebook to your email address book. Did, everyone, did anyone know that? Okay, so it's not very common, but you can have that information, and with that information, you can promote your new blog site, you can promote those new shirts that you want to sell. It's, it's so much access out there, so definitely a great way to make money. Get those followers, get those friends on Facebook, and leverage that information. So I always struggle in these panel discussions as a high school teacher, as a parent, as an uncle of many teenagers with trying to make, you know, working hard to make sure this isn't, doesn't become boring and we're just talking to young people because young people hate me and just talk to, right? Right. right? But are any of you interested in like monetizing this, making money from kind of what you're doing anyway. So is this okay so far? Yeah. Okay, and if any time you have a question, just raise your hand and you will be acknowledged. So who's familiar with the Huffington Post? All right, so it's a newspaper, online newspaper, that uh, you can customize the information that's sent to you. It's an opt-in service, meaning you have to select to get it news, and you tell them, what region, what topics, and they'll in inbox it to your